We have uh, we have a list of all the uh, all the available types. We randomize this list five times. One, two, three, four, and items taken to the top, dragon at the bottom. Mm. And uh, when you're ready, yeah, this is a uh, break one three zero nine nine. Let me swap those. <laughs> there we go. We got there. <laughs> I feel like there's not, not been a whole lot of like Pokemon news since Tuesday. I feel like they, they dumped it all on us. And now there's like, I don't know what to talk about anymore. Well, yeah, I think uh, Pokemon Day was a big day. And I'm, I'm glad that the next thing, hopefully the next thing we see is Scarlet Violet yes. uh, TCG. Look forward to Oh, there was some sort of, um, oh, I didn't, obviously not in Australia, but I think somewhere in like the UK or the US, there was like a special Scarlet Violet event for creators. Um, and so they had like some of the, like the TCG stuff on display and like a bunch of other stuff. Um, which yes. Oh, hey, Emma. That is so fine. That is so fine. <laughs> Um, yes, I think the most exciting bit was that they had massive Pokemon plushies like all over the whole place, which just looked so cool. That does sound incredible. So we have we have five double blaze and four tag all star packs. Grab those using the cherry bucks. In good news, I feel like I'm getting a lot better at opening these tins now, which is a, a good win. <laughs> oh, for sure, absolutely. Last one to open, for this round at least. Ooh, there we go. Alrighty, I should probably move those out of the way too. Well, let's get into it. My five-year-old walking around with his Pikachu plushie and thinks, is Ash and tells me Pika's alive. I mean, honestly, I feel like I talk to my Pokemon plushes like they're alive sometimes. It's not really, it's not like I genuinely believe it. It's just like when I look into their little eyes, I feel really bad for them. Oh, full out Lunatone right off the bat. And a Hollow Kyogre. I definitely said that right. I think my only Pikachu plush that I have, I won from a claw machine by accident. I went for an Oshawa and I happened to just like pick up the Pikachu plush as well. Um, and I was very happy. Oh, Raikou V. We're starting off pretty good. Yeah, incredible cards so far. If you want the, uh, the packs, just uh, go through the cherry bucks and grab the amount of, that you uh, need for the pack. So just grab 80 cherry bucks and uh, post your order number in the chat. Oh, reverse Holy Lunatone. <laughs> That's kind of funny because my... Oh, my housemate and I, we have a Toad plushie and a Yoshi plushie, um, and it's become a bit of a meme to hide them around the house somewhere where we'll find them. <laughs> Full out Hushu, sorry, Hushu and Samurott V. Um, 
But yeah, so it means, you know, sometimes you think you're going about your day very normally um, and then you'll like look up and there's like a Yoshi hanging from like the curtain. What do you call like the curtain things that you, you pull? Um, but yeah, I think... A blind? Kind of. Like what's the string called? Pin urchin and ente. These are all brilliant questions. I've been stumped. <laughs> I feel like it's when someone asks, like, what the end of a shoelace is called. Like, that's a big trivia thing. Well, that's an aglet. It is an aglet. Yeah. The Mario Bros. movie. I, I, um, I don't know that I would say super excited. I'm excited to see what they do with it. Requaza VMAX. Very nice, very nice. Um, but, yeah, I, I think... Whenever I hear about the movie, the one thing that is in my head is when Chris Pratt was like, oh, the voice is going to be, like, like so, like, like Mario, but so different, and, like, nothing you've ever heard before. And then, like, the first clip they showed, I was like, that sounds exactly like him on a normal day. Like, it is no different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Rady Natanatus and EVV. Oh, I love that card so much. I feel like I've sort of forgotten to keep up with what movies are coming out this year. Usually it's something I'm really on top of, but I think I've just sort of forgotten what's going on. <laughs> there are just so many. There are. Poker Rock and another Requaza V Max. A loaded, loaded packs. Very nice. Boy, Mario's never really had a voice, so how do we know what he sounds like? I mean, he's meant to sound Italian. <laughs> um, I don't think Chris Pratt is capable of doing an Italian accent, so he just sounds like regular Chris Pratt. Um, actually, thinking about it, I don't think I've seen anything where Chris Pratt doesn't sound like Chris Pratt. Like, some actors are really good at, like, changing it up, and I'm just, I'm just not sure that he is proven that yet. <laughs> Ooh. Great Ball and Stoutland V. Big moustache energy. <laughs> Are the Japanese cards gone already? We do have uh, the... All star, the all star tag, tag all stars are gone, but Full there are still tags. double blades. We go first of our sort of what is it like forest full art set today? Maybe we'll get them all. Maybe we won't. We probably won't, but we can dream. How many are there? I think there's nine, and they make up a little picture. Yes, that's right. Oh, it's a ditto! That card is so cool. And a beauty with a signature. Very nice. Can't be worse than the 90s movie was. Wait, there was a 90s Mario Bros. movie? It was, uh, it was live action, and it's one of my favourite films. I don't but think I I've ever heard about that. I have it on DVD, it's great. <laughs> The commitment. Or another ditto and a hollow energy. It was live. Oh my god. Was it like another American one? Yes. Yeah. It had um forgotten his name. The guy who voices Sid in Ice Age. Oh Sid he, the he, he played Luigi. Oh that honestly sounds amazing. John Leguizamo, I think. I feel like Ice Age is one of those movies, like, you know when there's a movie that you watch as a kid, not because you love it, because your parents love it, and it's like that, like, middle ground? Because <laughs> you and Sam Rubby 
Um, I feel like that's what Ice Age was to me. It was the same as like Shrek, because my dad's Scottish, so he loved watching Shrek. Um, and oh, there was something else that he really enjoyed watching, but I can't for the life of me remember what it was. It was like, I liked the movies, but they weren't like my favorite. Um, so yeah, it was a, a good middle ground for my family, apparently. Sure, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think they'd hold up as well today, but they have good nostalgia value. Yes, precisely. Energy surge. The Yoshi in the movie just made me sad. I mean, I think what I'm most excited for in the new one is um, Anya Taylor-Joy playing Peach. Because um, I love her as an actor so much. And I feel like if the whole movie was about her version of Peach, I would be absolutely living for it. <laughs> Don't need no Mario. Radiant Charger Bug. Does that mean if it was live action Mario, were like the characters that do not look human, were they CGI or were they like physical costumes? They were, they were humans with costumes. Oh my God, that sounds beautiful. Yeah, it was great. Galarian Meowth and Charizard V. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. We love a Charizard card. There we go. Last two. Of this set, at least. <laughs> Awful at Lapras. One of my favorite cards in this set, I reckon. And Calyrex, hello. There we go. And very last one. Great Bull, Pinch Etchin. Jirafog. I was not expecting all of like the hard to pronounce ones to be right after each other. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Calarian Wisdom Eye, Potion, Bidoof, Ponyard, Yanma, Reverse Holy Shaman, and the Secret Rare Pikachu. Okay, that is a wonderful way to finish off those tins. So good. It's such a bright and colorful color. Good way to finish the, the, uh, the break. Yeah.